nerds, what's up? Today's video is going to be a chatty get ready with me, so let's get right on into this. I am so not used to not having makeup on starting off on these like actual filming videos, so let's go right on ahead and get started. This is not a technical beauty blender, it's like a real techniques one. So starting off, I'm just going to put on some Urban Decay All Nighter foundation. Just felt like doing a chatty kind of Q&A, but just like talking about whatever while getting ready today because one, I didn't have a video planned and two, because I have had some new subscribers so I just kind of wanted to introduce myself. I also have been really into watching these, so that's always fun. So I kind of asked on Twitter and on Instagram some questions. So starting off, we'll get some from Chelsea. So she asked me my top three books I really want to read this year. I am so not good at new releases, like I'm just not good at it. But I really want to read On the Come Up, which comes out at the end of February, I think. Also really want to read Michelle Obama's book that she just came out with that I haven't gotten to yet. On the Come Up is by Angie Thomas, in case you didn't know. I also just like really want to read all of Taylor Jenkins' books. I read After I Do. It's about a marriage that like is falling apart. It was like really depressing. <laughs> But like, I mean, it has a good like message and whatever and ending, but it was really freaking me out because like I saw a lot of me and Matt, who's my fiance, if you didn't know, um, in the two characters and their marriage is falling apart. And so I was like, oh no, what if our similarities that right now are great will be horrible in 10 years after we've been married? So that was a fun thought, but I just, I really loved Taylor Jenkins' read Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, as everyone does. And I also, I did like that book, so I want to read more of hers. I don't know, like, which ones in particular, though. I also really want to read The Poet X, and I have American Street by E.B. Zavoy, and I've, like, just stared at that book every time I go to Barnes & Noble, like, for, since it came out. And so now I own it, and I think it is going to be, I'm pretty sure, it's going to be on my TBR for February. In February, I'm going to be participating in Blackathon and Contemporaryathon, so I'm just going to make one TBR, like I'm going to make my monthly TBR, which will be my Blackathon TBR, because it's all month long, and then I will also make a Contemporaryathon TBR, probably, is the plan. I freaking love this foundation. Like, I didn't use any concealer before putting this on and look at how thick and nice and just amazing it is. I still am gonna put a little bit of concealer under my eyes. I use the Sonia Kashuk, or excuse me, this is the NYX. Got like the pink, the green, and then a bunch of different ones. And I use the bright pink one under my eyes cause that helps with under eye circles cause I have those. And then I use this one cause it's closest to my skin color. I had a really gnarly, cystic acne right here for a long like the last week and it finally went away or it's finally going away and I'm excited about it okay so speaking of after I do by Taylor Jenkins Reid I'm gonna answer the questions that Emily sent me she asked me my favorite slash least favorite part of wedding planning and how to stay level-headed when there are 1,000 decisions to make and the answer is you don't. <laughs> I like can't even tell you how many times I've said to Matt, let's just elope. And like, if it was only up to him and I didn't actually like want a wedding, we totally would have by now because he doesn't give a shit about the wedding itself. It's really just me making sure that that still happens. I mean, it's really important to my family as well. His family... Um, I think that, I mean, I think that they're gonna be happy that we did it, but like, I don't think they'd be mad if we eloped. However, I think that my family would be. Um, they'd be pretty upset if we didn't get a wedding. So, one of the things that's been really helping me is I'm very lucky in having my grandma, and there's like f four million reasons why she's the greatest human on this planet, but one of them is that, one of them is that she's paying for most of our wedding, which is amazing so we don't have like the stress of 
worrying about finances in it. I mean, obviously we're not going ham on our wedding, but if it was our finances and not hers, then this wedding wouldn't be able to even happen, so we would be eloping. Um, or it certainly wouldn't be happening this year. She's been kind enough to pay for almost everything and then my dad's paying for the photographer. So we have a lot of financial help. So that has been a godsend. And then the other thing, oh, I'm using um, Too Faced, the chocolate bronzer. Other thing that's been, that she's been really great about is my grandma has planned at least three weddings in her life. She planned her own, my mom's and my aunt's. And so she's like basically a wedding planner and she knows everything and I am getting married closer. My grandma lives four hours away and we're getting married in the area that we're actually getting married at the park in her neighborhood and then at the hotel that's like down the street. And she's been really helpful in getting like people we need, like the cake and stuff like that. Like she's done so much of that and she's helped me do a lot of the decorations. So. One of the things that's been keeping me sane is that she's helping me a lot. Um, the other thing that keeps me sane is just joking all the time about eloping. Like, honestly? Yeah. I mean, Matt also is just like the calmest person ever. So when I'm stressing out about something as silly as a wedding, he's like, just fucking relax. <laughs> and so sometimes like I need him and his you know like kind of you're being crazy attitude to calm me down because it really is at the end of the day just a big party that we're throwing and it's like not that big of a deal like the wedding i mean the marriage is the part that is a big deal you know what i mean so that's been something yeah and just like being able to compromise i guess like we had an issue with where we were going to have the ceremony we were gonna get married on the beach which is something that I've always really really wanted and it just like couldn't work because they had a lot of rules at that beach and that was basically the only beach we could do it at in the area um, and so now we're getting married at a park which was really frustrating and like disappointing initially but it's still a really pretty park and so like I guess just trying to like go with the flow as much as you have to like I mean stand in whatever you really really want but like don't go into debt or whatever over something silly or like don't get mad about things you can't control i guess i don't know one of the things we also did to like cut finances is something that i've just i've always wanted a flowerless wedding so instead of flowers for like the bouquets we're doing paper pages of books that'll look like flowers and be like made into a bouquet and there's, we're not paying for any florist because we don't have flowers at the wedding. Finding things that don't matter to you, even though they may be traditional in a wedding, get rid of them. They don't matter that much. If they don't matter to you, then they don't matter. Neville Longbottom asked me, hey Neville, what's a book series, book or series, that you would like to see adapted because you think there are a lot of improvements that could be made to the story? And what's a book series you hope never gets adapted because you think it would be too hard to accurately capture everything? Okay, the first, the second part of that question is way easier to answer than the first part of the question. I'm gonna be using the Morphe palette for my eyeshadow. Um, so, Throne of Glass has been optioned for a TV show and has, I think, has been picked up by, I wanna say HBO, but I could be wrong. And I don't want it to be made. <laughs> like, I love that series so much. And I was so completely disappointed by the last series that got made, which was Shadowhunters, that I'm like, don't, don't touch it. Like, just go away. <laughs> I'm like happy for Sarah J Mass because I know that she's excited about it, but like, I don't know, I would imagine, if I was an author, I would imagine being really scared having sold the rights to my story because if you sell the rights, like, at the end of the day, you don't have a lot of control over what is cut, what is added, what is changed, stuff like that. So like that story makes me super nervous because it's so intricate, just like Shadowhunters is. As far as a book that I would love to see made to like see it made better, you know, I think that anything by Holly Black could be 
made really well. I would love to see be made into something visually pleasing because like it's one thing to read it but another thing to watch it. Same thing with the Renegade series. Although that that story is so great that it's not anything I would want to change. I just think I just want to see it. As far as Holly Black, Holly Black, I love her. Um, and I love like the concepts that she creates, but the execution of the stories are not always my favorite. Like I didn't love Darkest Part of the Forest. I just reread Tithe. Tithe was one of my favorite books in high school. And I just reread it and it was just, oh, it was just good. Like it wasn't great, it was just good. Okay, my fitness routine and how I keep up and everything, how I keep everything together, work, booktube, reading, social life, and everything. Okay, so my fitness routine. I am a member of 24 Hour Fitness. So they are fantastic. I really love, actually, I have my issues with forever, with forever 21 what the heck with 24 hour fitness I do but like I also really love everything that's included in their gym membership along with like being able to go to the gym obviously like just be able to work out yourself you also get access to their gym classes and they have like so many to choose from and then on top of that you also get access to their app which can create plans for you like workout plans where you put in how many weeks you want to do it for what your focus is like weight loss or um, performance enhancing or weight training like trying to get buff um, so you can put all that information in and what your goals are and stuff and then they make a plan for you for a certain amount of days a week and whatever they also have you can also just like go on there and get workout and go to workouts and then you put in on the top, so on the top here you put in your duration, exercise, etc. And then you can also go down here and you can put in what kind of workout you want to do, like body weight or if you want to use weights. They have treadmill only, dumbbells only, quick workouts, yoga, pilates. So you can go in there and just like pick a random workout that they have. So those are cool too. So right now, Mondays and Wednesdays, I go to a different gym class that's set at the gym. And so on Mondays, it's body pump, which is a weightlifting class, and they're each an hour. And on Wednesdays, I go to body combat, which is cardio focused, and it's like kickboxing type thing. So you like punch, not people, you punch the air. Um, and I just love it. My back is always really sore after that class, and it's a lot of lunges and stuff, so my, um, legs are always sore and then it's one of the only cardio things I do because cardio is not actually that great for you if you're looking to lose weight like I mean it's great for your heart so do it but it's if you're only doing cardio that's not going to make you lose weight if that's what your goal is obviously that's not everyone's goal so those are my Mondays and Wednesdays and then Tuesday Thursday and Friday I do a workout from the app right now I'm in a performance booster plan from 24-hour fitness so I work out five days a week in an ideal world usually I end up working like three or four this is the NYX liquid liner I do also if I'm in town and not busy then on Sundays I go to yoga I was doing yoga like every single day last year when I got into working out and I was working on losing weight I did a 30-day yoga challenge and did yoga every single day for a month and then Sierra is my friend and she's really into yoga so I was just doing yoga at least once a week if not twice a week but I would say my number one advice if you want to work out but you don't right now do any working out and you like are intimidated by it home workouts are great there are so many options on YouTube if it's people that's intimidating like if it's whether that means people at the gym or at a yoga studio or whatever like if it's the people that are intimidating then I say start out doing something at home only thing with home workouts is that you have to be motivated to do it like I really like going to those classes because the instructor is like telling you that you need to do it better they're just like pushing you to go harder to like move even more than you think you can like to go deeper in the squats or whatever so I find myself more challenged in classes because it's like having a personal trainer for an hour I mean it's not personal because you're in a class of like at least 15 sometimes 30 people also I go 
weekly to those classes so like the instructor knows my name so she will call me out if I am not going hard enough if I'm like being lazy as far as managing my time like my planner so every day I make a to-do list and that to-do list includes the gym it includes my YouTube stuff that I need to do for whatever it is it includes my work it include like it includes all of those daily tasks that you you know you need to do daily it still includes those and then it includes like the things I need to do particularly today because I am super motivated and com competitive in the fact of getting everything done and checking everything off so like even my plan to go to dinner tonight with my sister is on my to-do list I have to do it <laughs> so it's on my to-do list so that I can get to check it off okay I hope I'm still in focus Chelsea asked me what my favorite lipstick is, and I'm pulling it out right now. It is this one. It is by Marc Jacobs. I did not pay for it, so I don't know how much it is. Marc Jacobs Snapshot, and then the color is 300 Send Nudes. And the only complaint I have about this is I do not like that it's a roll-up because it has melted more than once and fallen into the lid, and then I have to like shove it back in. This is one of those lipsticks where like if I let it dry, then it won't budge unless until it does not do the greatest job once I'm eating, but like me licking my lips or anything like that, it won't move and I love it. I did my engagement photo shoot with this and Matt is always very concerned that my lipstick is gonna get all over his face and in an engagement shoot, if you didn't know, you spend a lot of time kissing each other in front of the camera and so he was like, my head's probably covered in kisses, my nose, like, you know, and I was like, no, like this lipstick doesn't move and it was fine so I love it so so much Chelsea also asked me to share the last picture of my fur babies the most recent picture I have of my fur babies are also of Matt so there's Hedwig Padfoot and Matt and I took this picture when we were hanging out I think he was watching football or something but he was actually falling asleep I was super annoyed that football was on because I'm not into football so like why was it on if you're not watching it I think that's everything for this video I hope you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments if you like this type of video and that you want to see more in the future I'd love to be able to do that and if you want to ask me any questions or anything for the next type of video like this you should follow me on Twitter and Instagram because that's where I got the questions from so yes I make videos every Thursday and Saturday so I'll see you guys very soon with a new one and I will be back bye, bye.